The twin-engine Oka fighter jet or the Navy's deck-based fighter program was born out of necessity of a carrier-based fighter requirements of the Indian Navy, after it rejected plans to develop a single-engine naval fighter jet based on the Tejas Mark II concept, and the question still remains whether the Air Force will be a part of the project. The timeline of the Orca program falls in between medium-weight fighter program and 5.5-generation AMCA fighter jet. The Air Force plans to replace Mirage 2000 MiG-29 and Jaguar strike aircraft with 200 medium-weight fighters, while it has a projected requirement of 150 units of 5.5-generation AMCA program, which is likely to expand further. The Orca fighter jet will come at a time when Air Force will be sorted with what it wants to regain its combat strength, and it leaves little room for the procurement of Orca fighter jet, unless India goes ahead and scraps the procurement of 114 fighter jets from a foreign original equipment manufacturer under the MMRCA program. According to a Chinese military specialist, the Indo-Israeli jointly developed Barak-8 long-range surface-to-air system is one of the key systems which can counter the Chinese Navy, as it has been specially designed for countering Chinese anti-ship subsonic cruise systems. The system delivers an accurate and high-quality real-time arena situation picture, and also detects low-radar cross-section targets in all weather conditions. The U.S. Air Force has cancelled Phase 1 of its Red Flag Multilateral Air Exercise 2020, that was scheduled to be conducted in Alaska from 30 April, in which the Indian Air Force was to take part with its Su-30 fighter jets. The Red Flag exercise was meant to provide realistic training in a simulated combat environment over the joint Pacific-Alaska Range complex, but it have been cancelled due to the travel restrictions imposed by the U.S. Department of Defense. According to latest media reports, Pakistan has received the first batch of modernized T-55 tanks from Serbia. Pakistan had signed a contract in 2019 to buy 282 T-55 tanks from Serbia, which were already marked as an obsolete equipment. The tanks have been modernized by the Serbian defense industry, including a full package of electronic equipment and an enhanced engine. The executive director of Russia's Rostock State Corporation has said that the deliveries of the new T-90M tank to the Russian army will begin in the next few months. The new tank was developed under the framework of the Breakthrough 3 project, and the key difference between the T-90M and the Indian version is that the newly designed turret module features a multi-layer armor, and a new cannon which is used by the new generation T-14 armator. In a step to support the government's ongoing relief efforts, Hindustan Aeronautics has pledged 20 crore rupees to Prime Minister's Relief Fund. The employees of Hindustan Aeronautics have also pledged to donate one day salary to the Relief Fund, which amounts to 6.25 crore rupees. Oh, Mark,